Um, so, a little bit worrisome. And this freaking pedestal down here, I, have, I was never able to get that. Uh, yeah, when, back when I, back when this was like the regular sh shrine of the mother. Back before this all got, and you know, I, I still gotta say, I, I really, I'm really digging the, uh, the background music, which I'm turning up a little bit, because I just realized my volume's been running a bit quiet. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm really digging, like, the, uh, the music for this area, the, you know, sort of reprisal of the main theme. Totally appropriate, it's got like a nice ominous type sound, but also kind of like a, you know, pump you up, push forward kind of uh, sound to it as well. It's like uh, really well suited to the area, yeah, like like most of the music in this game, frankly. The music in this game is awesome. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, soundtracks in pretty much any game I've ever played. Uh, especially, especially any 8-bit game. Yeah, this is easily the best kind of 8-bit style soundtrack I've ever heard in a game. But, uh... Yeah, the, the, the visuals, not so much. Uh, the color scheme is kind of garish, I think. Uh, frankly, I think I liked the way this looked before. Although, uh, one bit of uh, nice uh, little bit of subtlety to the visuals that I noticed is you've, you've got, like, these... You know, these kind of ugly orange tendrils sort of going all over the place. All right, they, they looked kind of random before. Like, I didn't real, I couldn't really tell what was going on with this. Uh, yeah, these, like, bright orange-yellow things. But, yeah, it seems that these are actually, like, tendrils of some kind. And they all seem to be kind of leading out of this one place around the center of this area. Which makes me think that, yeah, like, yeah, I'm thinking, like, the mother is, like, right below here somewhere, because this is where all of these tendrils seem to be coming out from, so yeah, it's, it's mainly the, the color scheme in this area that I really don't like. It's just kind of garish and dumb looking, and it's kind of hard to even tell what everything is supposed to be. It doesn't really have, like, like I've seen screenshots of this area in the re of, like, the remake version of this area, and that looks, like, a lot nicer. It's got the same... It, it sort of does a better job of what they were probably going for with this, it gives it kind of like a chaotic, kind of ugly looking, sort of organic feel or look to it. Which is the idea, because, you know, as, we, as, we, as we've learned, uh, the mother is in fact sort of the entire ruins is the mother's body. So it makes sense that the core of it would be like this weird organic looking stuff with tendrils shooting out all over the place. And yeah, it's cool. It's a nice little sort of, deta sort of detail that... You've got all these tendrils leading out from the center of the area. But... Yeah, apart from that, I just don't like the color scheme. It uh, just doesn't seem suited for, you know, sort of an epic final encounter kind of place. Um, do I want to go here? I should be exploring this area a bit more thoroughly, I think, just to see... Because, yeah, according to the sages, uh, something new should have opened up now that I talked to that guy. Yeah. So, that'll be... I don't know, do I really... I think I've... Okay, so... Yeah, all of these are blocked off, so nothing there. I mean, yeah, I, I thought that the final boss would... And yeah, before I thought that the final boss would be on the same screen that uh, Beelzebub was on. Just because, you know, it had the giant eye there. Uh, which is the, the same kind of eye symbol that appears every time you clear one of the Guardians. So that, that kind of made me think that, yeah, the final boss would be in that room. But then, uh, at the same time, these tendrils don't seem to be leading away from that room. So yeah, it, it seems that, like, the whole... Yeah, you can see there's just one passing through here from the upper left. So I don't know, if my theory about the tendrils is, like, right, or correct, then the... Yeah, the final boss should be somewhere, like, to the upper left of us. Or maybe I'm just giving the designers too much credit, and there's just, like, a bunch of random shit going on in this area for so reason, uh, for no reason. But no, this seems consistent. Like, everything, all of these things seem, all of these little orange tendrils seem to be leading from the same place. So, which way do I go? Ah, stupid monkey dudes. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't see anything here. Man, this is, yeah, turning into... So did I have anything to talk about? I mean, main, mainly just how it's kind of a shame that uh, things have kind of gotten... sort of this way as far as uh, the... 
It's not really, you know, we haven't seen too many terrible puzzles. Really, the worst puzzles in the game have been the, yeah, the one unsolvable block puzzle that really ends up not being a big thing at all since you don't need to solve it to get anything useful. You can just get the time stop without that. In fact, I, I think the intended so, so I was thinking, like, how stupid would you have to be to design, like, a puzzle like that that's so obviously unsolvable? I'm thinking that I actually had the right idea as the intended solution for that puzzle. I thought that you would, uh... Yeah, you would use the, uh, time stopper to freeze... Uh, you'd, like, drop down the block, the top left block, freeze time while the block is in midair, then pass underneath it to get onto the other side. And that would let you solve the puzzle, I'm pretty sure. But I'm guessing that the way that puzzle, that they screwed up that puzzle and made it unsolvable is that, uh... Yeah, probably that would have been the intended behavior. Would have been to... Hello. Okay. So, yeah. Definitely, uh... Yeah, almost certainly going to be fighting a final boss on this screen, but there's nothing here. Or, I mean, I don't know, there is that pedestal, at least, that we haven't hit yet. Oh, and actually, we've got this ladder as well, which, uh, yeah, doesn't do anything. So, I guess this, yeah, that, <laughs> this big, long, yeah, this, I was going nuts about this, uh, yeah, this big, long shaft here. That's a great quote to be taken out of context, but, uh, yeah. Uh, this thing here, on the in the front side version of this area, when uh, before it transformed, because I was like, I couldn't find any way to get down here, but now I'm guessing that there wasn't any way to get in here, because, yeah, this is the final boss chamber, presumably, and, oh, am I stuck here? Well, that sucks. Um, am I really stuck here? I climbed a ladder to get up here, so I am actually probably stuck here. And as far as I can tell, there is not a teleportation tablet in this area. So, that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, back to area 8, and I guess um, I'll see you guys again when I get back to... <laughs> back to where I want to be. Okay, and here we are at approximately the area I was in before the game stranded me for no good reason. That's kind of another thing that this... another annoying thing that this game likes to do that is, uh, yeah, kind of pointlessly annoying and often forces backtracking is, yeah, sometimes you just get stuck in an area and... Yeah, there's no way out but to teleport, and then you backtrack through a bunch of shit. Um, yeah, just, I guess, uh, yeah, another one of those things that, uh, yeah, another one of those annoying things that uh, just the game does sometimes. I don't, <laughs> this is really crazy, I don't think I've ever, uh, how, to, how should I put this? I don't think I've ever had this much hatred and affection for the same game at, at one time. It's like, uh, there are some things about this game that I, like, really, really, really... Fuck, I did it again. Fuck! Oh, I can just get down there. Uh, anyways, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're back. Uh, maybe this is the thing that the Elder opened up, because I thought I remembered seeing this before, and I thought it was blocked. Maybe I was just... didn't realize that I could go through the dark orange parts. So, okay. Um... So yeah, I guess I'm just going to make a quick back trek back to the boss chamber and see if anything changed along the way, but, uh... Yeah, so I was talking about how, yeah, it's like, I don't think I, there's ever been, like, this many things that have aggravated me about a game. And, uh, at the same time that there were, like, a lot of things that I really liked about a game at the same time. It's like, yeah, I don't think I've ever had this much, yeah, like, I exactly, like, I think I said it right the first time. Uh, I never had this much, this, such extreme amounts of affection and hatred for the same game. Uh, and often at the same time, or, I don't know, not really at the same time, actually. Usually at different times. Yes, just nonsense like that, where it just traps you with no way to escape but to teleport out and redo a bunch of shit. That stuff is aggravating. But there's a lot of fun stuff, too. The problem is I haven't seen a whole lot of fun stuff in a while. Especially, yeah, this whole end game segment, pretty much starting at around the Chamber of Birth, or, yeah, really that hidden wall at the end of the Chamber of Birth was kind of the beginning of the end 
of the fun times of this game. Because, yeah, from that point onward, there was just, like, like I said, I enjoyed having a whole bunch of options open at any given time. We've had much more restricted options after that point. Uh, I liked how the, the puzzles were all so fun and interesting and, uh, you know, fair and, and, yeah, all that. And that's kind of stopped happening. We haven't, I don't think we've had a good puzzle uh, since around that time. Uh, we've got we've got another terrible boss since then as well. So yeah, I don't know. Frankly, in some ways, the last impressions are kind of I, I won't say they'll, they're as important as first impressions when it comes to video games. Because yeah, if you if a game makes a bad first impression, it doesn't get a chance to make a last impression. I mean, yeah, if a game makes a bad first impression, you don't stick around long enough to even see how it gets towards the end. You just quit early on. Whereas, uh, but so I think last impressions are still important uh, in terms of forming a person's overall opinion of a game. Like, I don't know, I, I can't think of any game that I've played where it's, I've been like, any of my favorite games where I've just been like, oh yeah, this game is absolutely fantastic, but get, it gets to be like completely fucking terrible at the end. Actually, that's not true. I can think of it. I can think of at least one example. Uh, Plock is one of my favorite games, uh, or I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite games, but it's a really good, kind of lesser known uh, 2D platformer for the Super Nintendo. I'll probably do a Let's Play of it at some point. Uh, it's, yeah, a game I have a lot of uh, affection for. It's, uh, yeah, really great for the most part. And then suddenly it turns to shit for like the last six or seven levels or so for a particular reason that I'll probably get into. But yeah, Plock is an example of a game. Fantastic most of the... And actually, Plock makes kind of a bad first impression too. The first few levels and the last... Yeah, the first batch of levels and the last batch of levels are pretty much terrible. The, the, the first few... Okay, the first batch of levels in Plock are kind of bad and then the last batch of levels are just completely atrocious. Like, just complete nonsense garbage. I don't know what they were thinking considering how good the rest of the game was. But yeah, the rest of the game is so good, and, it and the la first and last bits don't make up that much in terms of, like, the volume of the game overall. So here's our Ankh. So that's what that pedestal unlocked. Um, but... Okay, so maybe I need an Ankh gem. Or maybe I just need to do something with the mantras. I guess I should probably buckle down and do that, maybe. Or, I thought I thought that pouring the medicine on would do that, but I guess. Um, yeah, the mantras it is then. So okay, maybe we can. And second one is by the feet of the twins. I don't know. I feel like I need to just go around typing Marduk. Oh yeah, off off camera actually. I uh, I, I forgot to type in Marduk at uh, at the compass. Uh, my first time going through the Endless Corridor on camera, and I did that off-camera, and uh, it didn't work. So, um, I feel like I just want to type Marduk on every screen just to see if anything happens, but that would be kind of stupid. Like the clue says, uh, the first mantra is, in a corridor, the entrance to the corridor that continues forever. I guess it could also be the other end, because this is also sort of the entrance I mean, it's also the exit to the corridor that continues forever, but it's also the entrance to it. Because, you know, come out this way and you're... Okay, so it could be M-A-R-D-U-K. No, go slower. Oh, this typing... I could be on completely the wrong track, too. Maybe the typing thing was just for the birth and death spells. Although that would... That would be unlikely, because we're probably going to get a bunch of different words for the different mantras, so... So I don't know. It's like, do I really just go in typing? Or I guess, okay. Because, yeah, I'm thinking if I, like, just go with... If I just uncover the correct location at random, then that would sort of... Then I wouldn't really learn anything that way. And then I just... It would just... It would have just been random, and then I just have to go through typing whatever the other mantras are on every screen in every other area. And uh, the thing is, I don't know whether it's the front side or the back side either. This seems like a terrible puzzle. So, okay, maybe... what? Uh, okay, all oh, right, there was another clue. Or, it wasn't really a clue, but it was basically gave you an idea of what the mantras were for. It said that you need the mantras to, uh... 
Or I don't remember. It's in Area 3, I can just go there real quick. Because, yeah, there was a relevant... Oh yeah, that was the other thing. I've got clues for the locations of where to recite all of the mantras. Except for Area 3. This is the only one that doesn't have uh, a clue. Or at least as far as I can tell. Like, I, I sort of connected the different mantras to the different areas based on the clues that were given. Ah, uh, right here. Yeah, I, I can just show them off for you here, since this is basically what I'm going to be working with for... Hopefully not too freaking long, but... Oh, right. Ah. Uh, these guys are so easy now that I've got the shield. I don't think I've had a chance to do this on camera yet. Watch this. No, that didn't do it. There we go. So easy! Fuck you, turtle. Yeah! Ah. Uh, so glad that those guys are not a problem anymore. Uh, one of the most annoying enemies in the game, for sure. Um, so yeah, there was a tablet in here somewhere. So yeah, let's just have a look at what we're looking at. Yeah, second mantra by the feet of the twins. And so if, yeah, first one uh, in the corridor. So if you go through them like this, and Green Beast, that's probably Area 6, the yeah, side of the Guardians of Hell. That was the Gozu and Mezu, that mid-boss in the sort of alternate area of the Chamber of Extinction with the, with the green background. So it, it, you can sort of see the pattern. We're going by, and then this was the general clue, to seal off the bosses. So I'm thinking also maybe the idea might... Okay, I could go into the boss chambers and try that. That's actually... If this is a clue, that's actually... A, if that's actually the solution, that's actually... Maybe, I don't know, maybe a bit too obscure. But it's it, it's there, at least. Chant the correct mantras to seal off the different bosses. And, and yeah, it seems that the order is a backwards order, basically. Areas 8... Yeah, the first clue is for Area 8. The final clue... Is maybe for Area 1. I actually couldn't really tell based on the clue alone. Yeah, fifth below the goddess, so that's Area 4. Or was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I think that was Area 4. Anyways, and this one, 8 stars. I don't know if where 8 stars were in Area 1, but... Anyway, so that's those clues. So, okay, I'm thinking maybe go to um, Area... The back side of Area 8 and try reciting a mantra in the boss chamber. And if not, then I don't really have any other leads. Oh right, I was talking... There was something I was, I was uh, brief, briefly touched on. Okay, that that is promising. I don't think that symbol was there last time I was here. I mean, last time I was here would have been when I killed the boss. Have these symbols been showing up everywhere in all the boss? No. Because yeah, like I've, I've passed through the the chamber of the third boss several times, and, uh, yeah, I passed through the third boss's chamber, chamber several times going to the, the entrance to the, the alternate entrance to the twin labyrinths, and I don't think I've ever seen this symbol. So, okay, M-A-R-D-U-K. Shit. I'm stuck, and I kind of want to use a walkthrough, but... It's only been 40 minutes, or 50 minutes, I guess, on this recording. Most of which will not be seen, because it was backtracking pointlessly, because I got stuck in the Temple of the Mother, because this game is a dickhole sometimes. Especially when it has... Ah, like I... Uh... So what do I do now? I don't even know. Okay, maybe, maybe try the compass on the backside area. The compasses... Okay, what was the clue? The, the red glowing, glowing crosses are guides that connect the front and back. And... Where was... I think it was the... Yeah, down below. The same room as the uh, door. Get... Get down. Uh, so this is the cross here, and it's marked... Or it's marked on the map. So yeah, we've got a red... A red thingy here. Why is that? What is the significance? Well, if these connect the areas... Does that mean there's a... Maybe it just means there's a door to you? I don't know. These things only started glowing once I beat, I think, the seventh boss. Then they started glowing. Maybe it just means that there's a door to the other side? Well, okay. Fuck it, I'm typing Marduk on every screen. 
And we'll be back if anything happens. <laughs> Okay, that was fast. Um. So okay. A anyways, I, I was getting around to this, and uh, I've been trying to get around to a lot of things. But uh, yeah. So um. Yeah. Basically, I was thinking like, yeah, if I just f find this one at random, which I did there, then uh, that would mean I have to find the others at random too. But that I realized that's actually not the case because now that I know where the first one is, I can kind of try to relate it to the clues. So it said the entrance. So I don't know, this was kind of near the entrance, so maybe the clues are just kind of vague guidelines? I don't know. So one, the clues could be vague guidelines. Two, it could be something to do with the uh, red crosses. Although, okay, the red cross for this area is like way down. And then so where was the other one on the other side? Could it be that it's maybe something to do with the crosses on the other side? No, because... Because, yeah, the red, the red cross on the other side connects to this room. And then it's one over from there, so maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've got... There's got to be some connection. I mean, there's, there's got to be some logic behind it. That was kind of what I was thinking, is that once I've, I sort of know where this is, yeah, I can try to connect it to the... to what I know, and sort of work my way backwards from the correct solution to try and figure out what the logic is behind this, and I'm kind of coming up with nothing. It has nothing to do... Does it have something to do with the boss chamber? No. Yeah, the boss chamber isn't even on this side. Or unless maybe... I don't know. Um, anyways, let's find the second tablet. Yeah, that, that, that's a good second, a good place to start, I guess. So, or m maybe the clues just have some. Okay, so that's the other possibility. Maybe the clues for where the mantras are just refers to the locations of the tablets, and then where you actually have to recite the mantras is. Who knows? It could be completely random. For all I know, for all this game likes to do sometimes. Uh, second mantra is by the feet of the twins, and I, th I think I have a decent idea of where that could be. So, feet of the twins, I don't think there were was like a statue of the twins or anything like that in the twin labyrinth. Or Actually, you know what, I think I want to go to, uh, oops, uh, no. I think the entrance to the twin labyrinths from area two would be the fastest way to get where I want to go, if I remember the layout correctly. So, I don't remember there being like, statu- like, there are statues of the twins all over the twin labyrinths, but when he it says the twins. So, did I read out the whole clue? Yeah, the second mantra is by the feet of the twins, the place where their feet connect. Now, it could be referring to like a random piece of background scenery somewhere. My other guess is that the twins refers to the labyrinths themselves, and that the feet refers to the bottom of the labyrinth. So that's sort of my first guess, is just to just sweep along the bottom. And then on my way there, if I see anything... I mean, if it is a clue to where the tablet is, then frankly, it shouldn't even matter. I could, I should just be able to look through this whole area and see the tablet. Because, yeah, I, don't, I still don't know what it is that I did to make that first one appear. I think it was after I beat the sixth boss that tablet appeared. Anyway, so am I, am I where I want to be? Okay, yeah, I want to just uh, travel along the bottom here. So, and so th then the other question is, is the tablet going to be on the front side or the back side? Because the Endless Corridor is... There's so, still sort of some confusion as to which... Whether the Endless Corridor or the Dimensional Corridor is the front side. Um, I forget what was down here. Oh, right, down there was the... Uh, uh, the Extinction... Or no, not the Extinction Chamber. The Inferno Cavern. Pretty sure. So yeah, I don't. So yeah, basically, I don't know whether the endless corridor was the front side or the back side of area eight. So I don't know whether these tablets are going to be on the front side or the back side, or maybe just, or maybe they'll just be like one or the other at random. So okay, left side was the. Uh, oops! Shit! Shit! Ah! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> 